Good morning, everybody, and uh, we are coming to the last round uh, of our conference. Uh, when I saw this uh, uh, video clip, uh, I thought uh, this should be shown once a week for half a year when it is prime time uh, in, uh, in, uh, in the news uh, in the evening. I think uh, this would be a very efficient way to uh, raise uh, to raise awareness. But now we try to make a further step in our conference and in what we are doing on Marine Litter. And we will have uh, four presentations from the breakout sessions. It's uh, from the four regional seas. And uh, I think uh, this is a very good uh, start for today. Uh, when the ministers come later and the commissioner comes later, that we really say there are things we can provide for political decisions, for the decisions and for actions on the local, regional level. Uh, and therefore, we start with Lex uh, presentation. Where is Lex? Ah, OK. Today, I, there's no, no need to make an introduction. Everybody knows you, so go ahead. Yes, thank you, Fritz. Um, it's a pleasure that I can report back from uh, the OSPAR uh, group yesterday, the breakout group. Of course, we, uh, I did it, not do it on my own, I did it together with Stephanie and with Uri. Uh, with Uri. Um, I have um, about 10 slides, so there's one minute for each slide, so that's should be able to manage. Uh, we had uh, yesterday we had over uh, 60 participants in our group. That means 60 uh, opinions, different opinions, uh, and it was quite a lively experience. Oh, sorry. Uh, there were uh, participants from at least seven uh, contracting parties from Osprey, so that's. That's good. We had good plenary discussions, very lively. There was no need for any yellow or red cars. I don't think it, it would have mattered anyway. We had a very exciting scoring exercise, uh, overwhelming result. Um, and the steps one to three, everybody that is familiar with the issue label will know what that means, have been sufficiently covered, but there's still work to do on step number four, but I will explain. Step number one, it, it's, it's a bit a boring list, but that's the only thing we could prepare, I guess, in uh, one evening. Uh, the step one on sources and the amounts, that, that I think there was a general agreement on, on, uh, on which item and which sources we should focus on. Of course, there were some comments on, on the text, for example, what do we actually mean by household waste? Is it solid waste? Is it municipal waste? Is it sewage waste? Uh, some of the data were a bit old, especially from OSPAR, and there, 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 is, um, uh, there is actually new data from OSPAR as well as from CFAS uh, that could perhaps indicate other items and sources more important. Uh, the plastic bag was actually mentioned as presented yesterday by Sue Kinsey. Um, there should also be um, emphasis on impact on environment, uh, apart from only impacts on social economy economy as it is stated now, but that was a mistake, I think, in the issue paper. Uh, we should take more account of uh, local and regional variation and use reference-based statements and facts, because sometimes it looks like it was more a bit of hearsay than one man that said something. Um, <coughs> then step number two on the possible operational targets. Of course, the day before we had some breakout sessions on quantitative targets, and you could you could notice that people uh, have listened very carefully at those breakout sessions, so that, that was very useful for this session. I think there was also a general agreement on all the questions that were there. Uh, some issues, of course, that popped up was what this significantly mean. You could expect that, of course. Uh, why not putting a figure uh, on it, like 25% to 50% reduction? Um, then it was a bit silent, I think, in the room because, yeah, many of the contracting party think this is something we should discuss among ourselves first, I think. So this is something that will be discussed in Osborne. 
Uh, somewhere it was written that the precautionary principle uh, could be interpreted, but that is, of course, it should be interpreted. Um, there should be included, or there could be included, targets on sources, uh, consider targets on specific items, and make the targets smart. Um, the, the, the example targets that are actually in the issue paper, they were reworded uh, along these, uh, and, and, and now we have these uh, example targets to reduce packaging waste on shores significantly in comparison to efforts monitoring the results by 2020, reduce litter from fisheries and aquaculture, examples for open nets on shores in accordance to a certain period, make sure that sewage related or riverine litter does not increase. And there was a proposal uh, for a shipping target, like the yearly increase of litter delivered to the port waste reception facilities. Then, of course, what I called the pièce de résistance, what type of measures and actions could we actually um, consider to, 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 be, to have a good opportunity to become sort of OSPR regional-wide uh, measures? Uh, well, first of all, there is a whole list in the issue paper, uh, but that was not enough. So, 15 new actions and measures were actually uh, added to that list. Uh, we had a very lively discussion, especially when I said there was only one minute left, then there were 10 people raising their hands. Um, but some general issues are we, you could consider sub-regional sub measures, uh, actions on specific item, measures close to the source, and you could also consider pathways. Which brings me to the scoring of action and measures, which, as we all know, Perhaps uh, we use these self-adhesive dots, everybody got three dots, and you could select the three most promising, which you think the three measures that, that have the highest feasibility, most effective. And that brings us to uh, ten points. Some of the, uh, the measures we just sort of glued together because they were uh, related. The first one was enforcement and control of international legislation that is valid for all sectors. Uh, what was mentioned as especially was shipping, uh, perhaps involved port state control even more, Coast Guard. Improved waste management, including increased recycling rates and phasing out of landfilling. The latter was especially for plastic waste. A ban and tax on single-use bags or other items and then the taxes into an environmental fund. And then the elimination and change of certain products of on the market. There was not a specific product mentioned, but in the issue paper you could see, for example, the uh, cosmetics, of course, uh, the microplastics in cosmetics. Uh, sustainable production and extended producer responsibility is part of this, as well as the life cycle analysis for new materials, items, and activities that they should include marine litter. What, what is really the end of life? Or what could be one of the end of life? The other one is uh, the deposit refund systems for specific items and drink containers and nets were mentioned. Education and outreach for all sectors. Harmonized fee system for port waste reception facilities and specifically was mentioned the compulsory implementation of no special fee system. Incentives for responsible behavior. This incentives for littering. Fishing for litter. And last but not least, the increased knowledge for river eye litter and microplastics. We could consider that also a measure. What are we going to do with this? Uh, of course, uh, Stephanie will also say what will be done with uh, the outcome of this conference and I think also with the issue paper. But uh, with what OSPAR is going to do is, uh, there was no time for step four, so we have to further elaborate, of course, on all these uh, potential uh, regional measures. Um, we should define the level of implementation. Is it something for that you should do on a national or regional or sub-regional? Is it something the EU should do? Um, are they related to MSFD? In my opinion, yes. I think uh, if, if there are a number of measures that a number of countries could, could implement in, in, in for their program of, of, of measures, then, then, then you have a uh, that, I think, is a very big added value. What is under Aspar's remit? I already said that. What we would do is at least to bring this, the outcome of this into next week's AIA committee meeting uh, and then bring it 
to the uh, next formal OSPAR steps for further elaboration. And when the outcome will be, is it in 2014-15? Let's hope we can get it as soon as possible. And there is the suggestion to have a workshop to further discuss uh, uh, regional measures at the end of 2013. And that concludes my summary. Thank you very much, uh, Lex. I think uh, your presentation made uh, very clear that uh, it's not an either or if it comes to national or regional uh, uh, actions and measures, and the same applies if we go to the European level. I think all levels have to be seen complementary, and uh, this is an important signal, and we move uh, forward to the Baltic Sea. Mikhail, yeah. Okay, the floor is yours. <laughs>